On a single night last year, at least 582,000 people experienced homelessness across mm. this country. That's according to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. On her first day in office, the new mayor of Los Angeles declared a state of emergency on homelessness. And joining us now is the first woman to lead the city of Los Angeles, Mayor Karen Bass. Mayor Bass, thank you so much for joining us here on GMA3. Thank you for having me on. Absolutely. So combating homelessness, that was a key priority for your campaign. And you just announced $1.3 billion of your proposed budget will go towards addressing homelessness in Los Angeles. So how will that money be used? What's the plan? Well, absolutely. Well, I will tell you, I'm on about 100 day, 130 or so, and we've gotten about 12, 1,200 people off the street from tents into motels. So one of the big expenditures will be the purchasing and leasing, long-term leasing of motels and hotels. That is called interim housing. And then we have to fast forward the building of permanent supportive housing. That means housing with counseling and other supports that people who are coming off the street need. How did this get so bad in Los Angeles? Well, you know, I mean, it definitely has been a long-term problem. This is something that I was looking at three decades ago when the problem was just beginning. But then it was just relocated to a couple of communities. Now it has spread citywide. So, for example, in just the city of Los Angeles alone, last year's count revealed 47,000 people living on the street. If you look at our county, you have to add another 20 thousand in Los Angeles has become virtually unaffordable and then the pandemic definitely increased the number of people who are on the street that's why it is an emergency if you can imagine 47,000 is larger than many cities and counties around the country so it is an emergency and three to five people die every day on these streets just unbelievable numbers and mayor bass in your state of the city address uh, you talked about the need of having more police officers uh, but also you refer say referring calls to what you call alternative responses what does that mean right Sure. Well, we need to do two things. We're losing hundreds of officers, just like a lot of departments around the country. But at the same time, I believe very deeply that over the years, we've left so many social health and economic problems aside, and we expect the police department to solve all the problems. I don't think you become an officer to deal with mental health, substance abuse, or homelessness. Those are social, economic, and health problems. So at the same time, as I'm talking about beefing up the police department to address the attrition. I've also opened up an office of community safety so we can rebuild some of our safety net that uh, I don't believe should fall on the back of law enforcement. Let's switch gears here. You're a former health care provider. We've seen abortion access dramatically change in the last many months. You've been very vocal about abortion bans. Have you seen these bans affect your city in any way? Oh, well, we're very fortunate in Los Angeles and the state of California. Uh, access is not an issue. As a matter of fact, we enshrined the access to abortion in our state constitution after the election last year. But for example, with the decision around the medication that can be used uh, for abortion, if that's banned federally, then of course that impacts the state of California. So that's why we're being very vocal right now. We do not want the courts to ban medication. So first, the courts ban a medical procedure, and now moving to regulate uh, a medication is a real problem. And Mayor Bass, I know that you're in D.C. for the African American Mayors Association annual conference, but you had a chance to go back to the House floor uh, there since you left. Yeah. This was the first time <laughs> since you left Congress. What was it like to be back? Well, it was wonderful because, you know, my transition was so quick. I only had three weeks to go from being a member of Congress to being mayor, and so I never had a chance to say goodbye. But <laughs> uh, in addition to just, um, the, you know, seeing friends, because, you know, when you work in Congress, you definitely develop very deep friendships. But it's also an opportunity for me to visit some of my former colleagues, like Secretary Marsha Fudge, um, our secretary, Pete Buttigieg, not a former colleague, but certainly somebody that I got to know over the last couple of years. So it has been very helpful to the city of Los Angeles for me to build on the federal state relationships that I've developed from serving in both those legislatures. 
Well, Los Angeles Mayor Karen Bass, we are so thankful that you made time mm -hmm. for us. Thank you for being here with us today. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.